This is the Ford Ranger Wild Track 4x2. This is the most expensive 4x2 variant of the Ranger. Is it worth your money? Let's find out. Okay, so from the front, the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 and the 4x4 look almost identical. Uh, the main difference is that the 4x4 gets matrix LED headlamps, while the 4x2 gets reflector LED headlamps. This also gets LED fog lamps, and only the Wildtrak variants get dual tow hooks down here. Like the Wild Track 4x4, this also gets 18 inch wheels painted in gunmetal. They're wrapped in 255 55 series Goodyear Wrangler highway terrain tires. At the front, it gets double wishbones and disc brakes. At the back, it also gets disc brakes. Both the Wild Track 4x2 and 4x4 get roof racks. This also has proximity sensors so you can lock the door uh, without, having to, without having to get your keys out of your pocket. You can lock the door by putting your finger here, and you can unlock it by putting your hand here. Like the Wild Track 4x4, the 4x2 also gets LED tail lamps. It also gets a reverse camera and rear parking sensors. You don't get a 360 camera though. The tailgate is assisted, so it is quite light. The 4x2 comes standard with a bed liner. Cargo capacity is the same as the other variants at 1,000 kilograms. Both the Titanium 4x4 and 4x2 get two power outlets in the bed, one 230V AC outlet, and a 12V outlet. Under the hood, the Wildtrak 4x2 gets the same engine as the other variants, except for the Wildtrak 4x4. This gets a 2-liter single-turbo engine that puts out 170 horsepower and 405 Nm of torque. It's coupled to the same 6-speed automatic transmission as the other variants. Only the Wildtrak 4x4 gets a 10-speed transmission. Uh. Okay, so we're now inside the Wildtrak 4x2 and it looks almost exactly like the Ranger Wildtrak 4x4. Like the Ranger Wildtrak 4x4, this also gets this 12-inch vertical screen. This has Apple CarPlay, this has Android Auto. Uh, the main difference here though is that this doesn't have a 360 camera, which you get on the Wildtrak 4x4. This also gets... This also gets this 8-inch instrument cluster. So in terms of materials, you get soft-touch materials over here. Uh, this feels a bit soft. Uh, this is covered in leather over here, and your armrests are also covered in leather. You get a nice leather-wrapped steering wheel, and all the leather panels have this orange stitching, which is the Wild Track signature color. You also get Wild Track badging over here, and you have this gloss accent over here. You get dual glove boxes, one at the top and one at the bottom. Uh, this is not dampened though. So unlike the lower variants, this gets an electronic parking brake. Uh, this has auto hold, but you don't get a physical auto hold button. Now to access auto hold, you have to go through the infotainment screen. It's right over here. So at first I wasn't a fan of the setup, but Ford did something different here, which I talked about in my Everest review, which you can click on the link above. Uh, this gets dual zone climate control, and thankfully you get knobs you get physical knobs and buttons. You can also adjust the climate through the infotainment screen. The wild track gets some gloss black accents over here, some aluminum looking accents over here. The steering wheel feels very nice, although it's it doesn't seem to feel as soft as the previous wild track. You get some gloss black accents down here. You get cruise control, but on the wild track 4x2, it's not adaptive. If you want adaptive cruise control as well as ADAS, you'll have to go for the Wildtrak 4x4. By the way, the steering wheel tilts and telescopes. Uh, you also get the wireless phone charger. You get one USB-C port over here and one USB-A port over here. 
Two cup holders. You also get these cup holders right next to the air vents, which is the ideal location if you want to keep your drinks cool. The driver's seat is power adjustable. The passenger seat is manually adjustable. The center armrest is leather wrapped and you also get a 12 volt outlet. Yes, yeah, so overall, it's a very nice looking interior. Yeah, definitely one of the more modern looking interiors in this segment. Back seat. So here at the back, you get two air vents. You also get an AC outlet over here. So you can plug in your laptop or your household devices. You also have one USB-C port and one USB-A port. Over here, you get a foldable armrest. Headroom, I have about uh, two and a half inches of headroom. The Wild Track 4x2 sells for 1,569,000 pesos. That's 95,000 pesos more than the Sport 4x2. And for that price difference, you get roof rails, 8-way power adjustable front seats, a bigger 12-inch screen, rear parking sensors, dual zone climate control, you get rear disc brakes, power outlets on the bed, dashboard mounted cup holders, you get more soft touch materials on the dashboard. Both the Sport and the Wild Track get 18-inch wheels, but the wheels of the Wild Track are painted in gloss gunmetal. So that's quite a lot of additional features for the price difference. By the way, Ford also offers a 4x4 variant of the Ranger Sport that gets all of the features of the 4x2 plus the 4x4 drivetrain. It sells for 1,594,000 pesos, which is just 25,000 pesos more than the Wild Track 4x2. The Wild Track 4x4 sells for 1,875,000 pesos. That's 306,000 pesos more than the price of the Wild Track 4x2. But you get a lot more features like ADAS, etc. Um, I'll be getting my hands on the Wild Track 4x4 sometime next week, so watch out for my full review. On the Toyota lineup, the Wild Track 4x2 is priced about the same as the Hilux Conquest 4x2. Overall, I think the interior of the Wild Track 4x2 looks a lot more premium and a lot more modern. You get a lot more leather inside the Wild Track. The Hilux Conquest only gets fabric seats and plenty of cheap plastics all over the interior. You also get more tech on the Wild Track, like a wireless phone charger, power seats, and of course the massive 12 inch screen. On the practicality front, the Ranger also has the advantage as it has a much bigger and wider bed than the Hilux. So overall, the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 offers a good balance of interior quality, tech, and practicality for the price. Whether you're looking for a rugged off-roader, a premium family vehicle, or a work truck, the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 has you covered. If you want to know what it's like to drive, watch out for my photo view, which should come out soon. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you on my next video.